There he is, Commissioner Kiernan. King Kong is still with us, even if it does take all of the city's electrical power to hold him. We don't want to hold him, we want to get rid of him. We want them to leave Earth. We got to stop that super war he's fighting. We got to get his side and enemies to parley. Do you hear me? Start talking peace or do your fighting elsewhere. I can do neither in here, personally. If I thought for one second that you could be trusted. Why not? My war is not with your kind. I'm willing to carry your message. Open his cell door. You're a bold one earthman. You have Calabac's respect and his word. Those who fight for apocalypse and new genesis shall know your views. The leaders of both sides are welcome to use my office. As a summit site, Calabac breaks the shackles with a roar that shakes steel walls. Calabac smashes his way out the building. Hold your fire. Bullets won't stop him. I have a strange hutch he'll keep his word. Orion wants to seek the new gods of Apocalypse. He grows impatient. Lightray tells Orion that that's exactly what the new gods of Apocalypse want. Orion is furious and impatient. He grabs a statue who he claims he sees the enemy. He rips the statue in half. Lightray tells Orion to calm down and have patience. The war is coming. Claudia Shane enters the room and says that Calabac escaped. Orion says that Calabac has chosen war. Claudia says that Calabac is looking for Orion. Lightray says to stay calm and await his arrival. Calabac is free, great dark side. And he seeks Orion. Then there will be fierce battle, Desaad. Those to have fought since childhood. But destiny has always kept one from killing the other. However, in the event of destiny's failure, Darkseid shall intervene. But why, sire? If Calabat proves the stronger, we are rid of Orion. Yet this logic doesn't seem to please you. Somehow, the thought of Orion's death stirs fear and anger. Silence Desaad, Darkseid explains his motives to no one. Orion and Calabac, how those two names give me no rest. Dark and my future, surely as their maternal forebears ruled my past. My mother, Hegra, Orion's mother, Tigra, and the sorceress, Suli. Suli was Calabac's mother. It was rumored that you defied the queen's wishes to court Suli. To secretly wed her, you sly dog. Orion and Calabac are half-brothers. Both are my sons. And that little Omega Blast is to remind you that I know who poisoned Suli at the Queen's demand. I couldn't disobey, sire. The Queen Mother disapproved of Suli. It was her decision. The old tyrant. She taught me well the importance of bending others to one's will. In the end, I mastered this fine art. As the intrigues of the past occupy Great Darkseid and Desaad, the subjects of their discussion are on a collision course. So great is the power of Calabac's fist, that the blow sends a sonic tremor throughout the entire building. Calabac calls out Orion. Lightray is the first to respond. Lightray, stop. Calabac will kill you. We shall see. Lightray flies straight to Calabac, who seeks Orion. The Nova Burst is total solar power. Lightray strikes like a meteor. Calabac vanishes in a very violent energy. Calabac emerges from the blast and phased. Lightray turns her on to blast Calabac again. Unbeknownst to Lightray, that's what Calabac was waiting for. As Lightray comes near, Calabac seizes him with savage ferocity. Orion, Dave Lincoln, and Claudia stares in disbelief. Orion runs to Lightray aid. He says that he'll put an end to the demon bomb that binds him. 
and Kalabak. In the district of the city, the gathering clouds of disaster have yet to shroud the sky. Willy Walker lies still as ever, unable to move. Willy Walker is forever silent, his eyes can move. But at this moment, they are fixed on a distance far beyond his room. It's time, Willy. A messenger is needed. On your feet, Willy. That's it, Willy. Embrace the change. Where the commanding voice comes from is a mystery to Willy. He only knows that it changes him into the Black Racer. With the change comes new powers. The Black Racer walks through the wall into the night outside. Death is on the wing this night. Death for a new god. On the other side of the city, the final confrontation between Orion and Calabac is about to explode in full fury. Calabac, with seemingly little effort, pulls a lamppost from its anchorage and hurls it at Orion. A wand only serves to rouse Orion's anger. Orion seeks to end the tormentor. Suddenly, a white-hot blast of energy leaps from Calabac's hand and drives back Orion. An ally has given Calabac energy. Orion is struck by a sharp bolt so devastating that it shakes him into momentary immobility. Calabac's strength seems increased tenfold. He tears an entire building loose and sends it crashing down upon Orion. Victory for Calabac, conqueror of Orion, and first hero of Apocalypse, hear me, Dark Side. I've won. In your name. Watching the battle from a guarded perimeter, Dave Lincoln has joined Commissioner Matt Kiernan in his police car. Something is wrong, Commissioner. Calabac pulled that building down, and I don't see Orion. I didn't see it. I'm busy deploying my men. We've got to do something. There is a report of a black man flying on skis. Headed in this direction. Well, you sit here. I'm going to find Orion. Darkseid has followed the progress of the battle. Calabac has shown incredible new powers. I fear for Orion. Sire, our instruments register strange emanating being transmitted from the very location. We can track these waves, sire. They zeroed in on Calibac. Himself. Increasing his strength, no doubt. Filling his entire body with new power creating elements. That's it. While I've watched this battle between combatants of equal strength, another has manipulated it for his own fiendish purpose. I see you've joined the battle, he sobbed at the expense of the warriors. I couldn't help it, sire. The opportunity of absorbing the emotions of Orion and Calabac through the siphon was too tempting. I've tolerated you and your twisted mind to long decide. This time you've turned it against my own kin. I strengthen Calabac, sire. He will glory in his victory for Apocalypse. As for Orion... Orion may be dying, crushed by your meddling, scheming brain, and his final agonies are coursing through you, feeding your cursed needs. Then feed on the greatest fear of all, the Omega Effect. Feed on your own last experience. Where the Omega Beams strike, there is no life, no death. No sign of previous existence. Desaad doesn't even have time to scream. Farewell, Desaad. Meanwhile, a mighty arm emerges from the depths of the rubble. Dave Lincoln fires at Calabac who laughs at his attempts. Calabac turns in disbelief as Orion is still alive. We must be brothers, you and I different sides of the same coin. Dark side. My father will have his one true son, Calabac. Calabac becomes limp and battered. Orion lifts him up. Then, as Orion goes for the finishing blow, he sees the Black Racer coming towards him. Death approaches quickly. 
Orion is struck by a fierce wind, and every fiber quakes and screams in his body. Ah! The wind shrieks on and flings debris everywhere. The black racer has come and gone, gone to, his caliber back. A heavy silence falls on Metropolis. The black racer spared Orion's life. Orion, what was that? Where are Calabac and the guy on skis? How? And to think I sent that bull moose on a peace mission. How will we ever end this war? Destiny shall end it. It is written that the father of Apocalypse shall meet his banished son. In the red light of the fire pits, there they shall decide this war. And so it shall be. I can deny it no longer. To others or to myself. I am, Darkseid's son, armed and ready with heritage bequeathed me. When I clash with Darkseid, the war will end. <laughs>